Welcome to Barbecue House. Welcome to Lunch Bunch. On a mo- is it? It's Monday, right? Mm-hmm. On a Monday. It's not actually Lunch Bunch, but um, Dan. We met up with Dan today, and there's not going to be a Lunch Bunch on Wednesday because. Probably the roads will be shut down by then, but... Um, no one will be open for Lunch Bunch? Yeah, there won't be any place to eat Lunch Bunch, but we're meeting up with Dan today uh, to do a few various things, and we decided to get lunch. Like eat? Yeah, eat is one of the things that we're, that we're doing. And Dan is actually... Uh, Dan is evacuating. You're leaving tomorrow, right? <laughs> I'll just hold on your... In your full mouth. This is the old cat carrier that we had, and we bought another one just in case we have to um, evacuate. And it's so much bigger and more aptly sized for the cats. I'm wondering how we ever. And it also looks like a coffee table. <laughs> he doesn't want to go in it now. Well, he was in it earlier. Yeah, the other one is too small. Yeah. I'm realizing that now. That's like a gerbil. <laughs> if if we had a gerbil cat, it would be different, but. Yeah. No. Oh, Thankfully. You see how much room he has in there? We had to buy another cat carrier because um, we have two, but one of them is actually Rocco's, and we just have gone to it. And whenever Rocco needed to go to the vet, we lent it back to my parents. So in the event that we have to evacuate and all three cats have to come with us, we don't actually have a way to carry them. Now we do. Actually, both our cats fit in that one because they were both in there when I set it up. Well, that's not real convenient for them. Probably not their favorite thing. Anyway, um, yeah, Dan's evacuating tomorrow. He's going to be heading down to Florida with his family. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't, like, whoop, <laughs> down south, which isn't going to happen. Yeah, I think, but, like, you, I think you'll I think you be okay. Because like, Jacksonville is another city that's, like, right next to the... Yeah. You'll be good. Yeah. You'll be good. We don't know if we're going to evacuate yet, but we're watching it. It's... It's now to the point where it's about 50-50. It's basically the difference of direct hit straight to us or slightly north. Anyway, Dan, it was good hanging out with you today. Yeah. And stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah, you have see. a good drive to Florida and um, and take care, of, uh, take care of Leia. Lindsay's supposed to come in on Friday. We, I may just end up picking her up because it's only two hours. Yeah, Lindsay, so. um, Lindsay's had a trip planned for months to go to Orlando, so she... She went to Orlando, and we didn't even at that point know exactly what the storm was going to do, how bad it was going to be. But um, so Dan, Dan is taking care of Leia in the meantime. Going to take her down to Florida, so she'll get to meet your family. Yeah, That's exciting. And little Buster, he's super old and half her size. So <laughs> I'm really worried that she'll just like. And Lindsay's flight comes back on Friday, Friday so. which means it's not coming back on Friday. Yeah. The airport's not going to be open Friday. But, um, yeah, there's a chance that since Dan will be down there, that Lindsay will just end her trip and ride home with Dan when you can get back home. Because I don't yeah. know when that's going to be. <sighs> Hurricanes are inconvenient. It's a big old tub of water. Freezer, please. There you go. Hurricane prep continues around here. Solid blocks keep things colder longer. It's true. We uh. It's also emergency drinking water. <laughs> well, I, I think we'll be yeah. fine. Though. We have we have an astounding number of uh, bottles of water here, so I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, it's uh. We we still don't. We still don't know. I mean, we learn more every six hours because the meteorologists are going around the clock. Figuring stuff out, telling us stuff, which is great. Um, but we, I mean, we still, we still don't know. So because we don't know, we're at least preparing as if we are staying. Um, because we might be staying. Uh, we don't know. You know, I, I think it was yesterday. I said it was probably like 50-50 chance, um, and it, it's still like hours later, still kind of the same thing. But uh, we have an evacuation plan in place. So I'm not worried about it. It's, you know, the closer the closer we get to the actual event, the more we know about the actual event, the more the, the better informed we can be and, and make a, a better informed decision. Um, it's just sucky <laughs> in the meantime because it's like, are we staying or are we going? I don't know. The Clash didn't know, and we don't know either. Um, 
Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening working on um, a few things. Uh, I, one of the things I've been trying to make sure I finish is get the rest of this week's Steven Play stuff scheduled. And I know that there will be people that are like, don't worry about that! And I'm like, well, I'm here. You know, I'm not, if I'm leaving, I'm not leaving until like probably Wednesday morning. So I've still got tomorrow, I've still got all day tomorrow. Um, but I'm trying to, you know, since I'm here and I have power and things are functional, um, at least making sure that there's content. So, Steve, there will be Steven Play stuff this week. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> vlogs will probably hit a cutoff point if we run out of power, but, I mean, we'll do what we can. As long as I have, like, uh, cellular service, I'll, I'll update people on Twitter. That seems to be my, my go-to for that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll know more tomorrow! We'll know more, more tomorrow. I know you're ready to learn something. I'd like to know. Not convenient. Not at all. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?